All right, we have here uh, an NVR network video recorder. I'm going to go through a brief overview of how to log in, to watch video live, and how to play back and download. The um, uh, high definition video, which is what's playing here, is very bandwidth intensive. That simply means that you need to have a fast internet. Um, you should have a download speed of at least 5 megabytes per second uh, for your download speed in order to be able to do what we're going to do here. So if you have a dial-up or slow DSL or a very low-end uh, cable internet this will be a very difficult for you to do and it may not even load the video. Uh, you'll notice a little bit of a lag time. The first couple will load quick the third one will load just a little bit slower and the fourth one will take a couple more seconds to come in when we do this. What you cannot see is the address bar uh, on this video at the top of the screen. Um, the address bar uh, is uh, we're using Internet Explorer. You must use Internet Explorer to watch this video. So open up Internet Explorer um, and then uh, you'll need to go and open up your ActiveX settings. So I will uh, go over here and open up my ActiveX settings. I'm going to the top right, which you cannot see again. Uh, there's certain things that we just don't want to put out on the internet. You go to the top right and you'll see a gear. It looks like a sprocket. Or you may have the word tools up in your toolbar. Either one of them will work. You will click on that and go to internet options. Internet options will open and you will see this window here. Go to security and then go down to custom level and then you'll see that there is a heading here. Right here it says net framework is a heading and everything else is indented below that. If we go down just a little bit more we'll see another heading here. So what we want to do is scroll all the way down until we see the heading ActiveX. Underneath ActiveX there will be several different listings indented underneath of it. <clears throat> we want to look for every line that has the word ActiveX in it. It doesn't matter what else it says, we're only interested in the word ActiveX itself. If it has two choices, Disable, Enable, we want to choose Enable. So these here, you can see mine's already selected correctly. We're going to go down here, we're going to keep going. This one here is binary, so we're not, we don't leave, we don't mess with that one. We leave that one default. We keep going down. Now we notice here that this one has the word ActiveX and it has three. So instead of saying enable, we're going to say prompt. And you're going to do that all the way down to the end of this listing. And you're going to select either enable or prompt. You're going to select enable if it's only two options and prompt if it's three. Then you're going to say OK. When you say OK, it's going to pop up with, are you sure you want to keep it? Uh, the Apply here may be highlighted for you. Uh, and then you want to click that, and then you want to click OK. After you put the um, uh, address in, and you'll need to get the address. I'm not going to give you this address here. Uh, but you'll need, you'll need to uh, ask for the address to, uh, to log in. Once you put that address in there and you click on that after you've enabled your ActiveXs, this screen right here is going to pop up. This is our login screen. When this login screen pops up, you want to stop at that point and go back over to that gear and click on that again. You want to go down to Compatibility View Settings. Now, if you don't have Compatibility View Settings, it's okay. Don't, don't, don't fuss over it. If it doesn't show up under the gear, Look for the word tools in your toolbar and click on that and see if it's there. If it's not there, don't fuss over it. It'll be okay. But if it is there, it's important that you click on it and open that up. And you'll see the address in which you put up in the address bar will pop up here. Now, it does not show the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash here. That's normal. You want to click add. And it's going to add it into the list. Now, you'll see here I have a lot of lists. I have a lot of things out there and then you're going to click close. Then you're going to do one more. You're going to click on that sprocket again or tools. Click on internet options and that same window is going to open back up for you. This time we're going to go to the security tab again and we're going to go to trusted sites. 
and then we're going to go to the word sites right here and we're going to click on that and you then you're going to see the address in there again now if you're doing this for the first time you'll notice that this box right down here where it says require server verification HTTPS we're not using that so uncheck this box and then click add if you try clicking add while this box is checked it's going to tell you that you can't use it because we are not using an HTTPS we're only using HTTP this doesn't require a secure server because this is a Linux system and basically it's just a dead end for anybody if they ever if they were ever to um, accidentally hit on this IP address it's just a dead end for them then once you, once you say add then you're going to say close then you're going to say OK. At that point, you're ready to log in. Now, um, oh, I'm sorry, let me back up. At that point, it's probably going to come up and ask you to download an ActiveX setting. You want to say yes. It may say that this site has not been verified or is not trusted. Because you initiated this, it's OK. These uh, ActiveX controls on which it wants to download it. It only needs to do it once unless your settings get reset by Windows or uh, Windows Update or something like that. And then you'll need to go in and redo those ActiveX settings. But um, the reason that Windows may say or Microsoft may say that it's not a trusted site is that the Chinese do not like to pay uh, Microsoft to certify their software. We've been using this for, for years. It is safe, so it is okay. So once you do that, then you're going to see this uh, box. Uh, it's either going to populate for the first time or it's going to uh, reload this screen and populate again. At that point, you want to put in the password. Uh, for me, the password is admin, and then you want to put in the, I'm sorry, the username is admin, and then the password. And again, I'm not going to give out the password but I just simply type it in and that is the only thing that you're going to edit this video port is always stays just like that you never change that then you're going to click OK once you click OK then the screen's going to load notice that one of these is loading a little bit slower now this is nighttime for this video for this site here so we see a lot of nighttime video here and what we see here is it's raining right now um, in this neighborhood so we're seeing uh, kind of like uh, flashes go by there and some of this is probably bugs also it could be bugs because bugs likes likes the infrared light so the way that you control this up at the top here this is a live video which is this page that we're on here this page here is playback which we're going to show you uh, how to use this and this page here is the configuration screen do not go in here and change any of the configuration if you do you will be calling me to come and fix it and it will cost you money to do that this fourth button over here um, is a reboot button if you click it it's going to say will you confirm reboot the device in other words you want to reboot this device if you do that it's going to shut the the recorder down and it's going to take a few minutes before it boots back up before you can get back into it so there's no reason to use that if you have that kind of trouble you need to be calling me um, uh, the Chinese um, I think got a little confused there they should put up here that this is a logout button but that's not what it does so if we go back over here to the live view we have four live screens and these screens automatically load so if we want to close them out we simply right click on the screen and we say close if we want to turn it back on then we would click in this square left click once in this square okay left click in this square and then come up here right click and then select whether we want it to be high definition standard definition or low definition or whether we want to close that's another option to close it now if you have real low bandwidth if you can get them to load but you notice that the video is very very slow and jittery you can close them out and come over here and choose one of these lower uh, video qualities okay for me I'm not having any trouble so I'm going to choose high def and then that window is going to load back in if I double click on one of these windows then it's going to open up and it's going to show me the full screen 
there oops you know what I just realized is that that the screen actually goes bigger than what you can see uh, because I have the recording window for this uh, recording smaller than that but when you when you double click on the window it's actually going to fill the entire screen up on your computer and that's how you can see that so this is how you download or I mean watch live okay over here on the right hand side these controls over here do not apply to you these are for pan tilt and zoom settings so there's no reason to play with this over here so I'm gonna go through and I'm going to close all the video I'm right clicking and I'm clicking close <clears throat> excuse me now we're gonna go up here to play now over here on the left hand side is cameras which you really don't need to worry about those this is the playback screen here and this is the progress bar over here we have our date so we can click the date that we want and we can go back in time I'm just simply going to leave it here for today and then this is type leave that the same there's no reason to change type and then channel channel is the same as camera on a recorder they're called channels this has four channels that the cameras are connected to so each one of these would be uh, a channel now the, because this is high def don't choose all um, because I know that uh, particularly on this site and it's true for most sites they don't have enough upload speed to give you all of them at one time so only choose them one at a time so in this case we're going to choose uh, camera one or channel one and we're going to leave it there and then we're going to click search once we click search then it populates here this number here is simply the, the line number or the file number then over here this is the channel that we, that we chose this is the start time so what we see here is 2014 September 9th and then we see the time which was actually started at midnight and if we go down we go down about halfway here we see again 2014 September 9th and this here I believe is uh, 11 o'clock in the afternoon or 11 o'clock in the morning so if we slide over you'll see over here the size of the video okay so if we double click on one of these here now we're waiting for it to buffer over here it's going to buffer oops all right and this is the video during the day we see up here in the top right we see the time clicking by and if somebody was out here walking around, uh, we would uh, be able to see them walking around. You can see the uh, the water in the swimming pool sitting there kind of shimmering. Uh, it's not a very windy day out there right now, so we don't see anything out there moving around very much. And you can do this with each of the cameras. If you're looking at this, if you're looking for video and you go through and you find video, and you say, yep, this is the video I wanted. I, you know, all the day. somebody threw all the pool, all the chairs in the swimming pool and this is the dirty rotten scoundrel that did it and this is the video that you want to save simply right click and close this window you never want live video or recorded video playing when you're going to do a download so now you notice over here on the right this is still highlighted I'm going to right click on this and say download now it's going to start to download this is downloading to the default file if you notice here it's telling us where it's downloading it to C it's in the C drive a file called Z files under rec file and then this number here okay and it's telling us the percent in which it is downloading so it's just going through here and downloading and it's going to take a little bit because um, this is not a commercial recorder so the commercial recorders would actually download um, the video in about 25% of the time or a quarter of the time of the t entire video uh, length. So if the video was an hour long, it would take about 15 minutes to download. In this case, video is usually takes just as long to download as it is actually long so it's five minutes long it could take up to five minutes to download depending on how fast the internet is moving at the time so we're up to 50 percent here 
things are just kind of clipping along here so we're going to let this finish out here for a second now keep in mind like I ask you please do not go into the um, configuration files up here if you make changes you will be calling me on this um, I will be glad to take phone calls or emails from you if you need help uh, getting some of these other settings set up I know that sometimes even after watching a video that uh, going through uh, the setup for ActiveX settings and things like that can be a little uh, daunting so uh, please don't hesitate to uh, drop me a line and ask for some help on that end we'll be glad to do that for you <clears throat> I always say that it's easy to um, go out and buy good equipment it's getting that customer service is sometimes the uh, the hard thing to get out there these days a lot of people just want to sell the equipment and move on which I'm certainly interested in selling the equipment but I think in order to sustain a, a good business you also need to provide good customer service okay so now we have downloaded that video so now I'm going to go and I'm going to open up that video okay you're not going to be able to see everything that I'm doing and I'm going to that video and I'm going to open up the file let me shrink this down a little bit so you can see it and there is the video that I downloaded you'll notice that it's the same time beautiful video they're playing and this will play full screen in this quality right here absolutely gorgeous isn't it so now what you can do is on this line down here you'll notice the progress line going by if you want to jump ahead you can click on that line and actually jump right ahead notice the time it says 11:42. I'm going to jump ahead now it says 11:45 up here and you can do that and you can actually move backwards in time if you want now we're back to 11:42 back to 1138 and you can do that and that video is saved you can take this video if it's not too big you can email it you can burn it to a thumb drive you can burn it through a CD or a DVD and you can give this to officials or whoever it is you need to give this to in order to share it you can put it up on Dropbox and share it that way upload it to YouTube just be careful of privacy issues <clears throat> okay so I hope this helps um, to be able to um, play back these videos. If you have any questions, please contact me, and I will be glad to help you. So until then, we'll be talking to you later. Bye-bye.